Wouldn't it be great if we could take these paper maps that we get at a park when we show up, if we can turn them into a magical map, a magical map that could actually tell us where we're located and where we're going. A magical map that works a lot like the map on our phones do. Wouldn't it be great if we could do that? If we could make a map out of this paper map that works on our phones and gives us that little dot as to where we are, a little GPS map. Well, guess what? We're gonna show you how to do that in this video. I know, I know, this is a flat intro, but believe me, we're gonna have a really nice, exciting, generic intro here soon. So the first thing you need is a compatible app and the Apple or the Android systems will work just fine. So just go to the App Store or Google Play Store and then just do a search for Avenza Maps. There it is, Avenza Apps, and go ahead and download it. We are looking for Avenza specifically because it can render geo-referenced PDF documents. Same thing over here in, uh, on the Android. And there it is. You can see that I have it downloaded in both cases. So I don't need to download it, but go ahead and download it. And then uh, when you're done with that, it should show up on your screen wherever you save it. So the second thing you'll need for this project is to go to CalTapo. And at CalTapo, you actually need what's called a pro subscription. And if you go to the pricing for individual accounts, you'll see that a pro subscription is $50 a year and it gives you the advanced planning tools that you'll need in the premium layers such as the Google layers um, and some other options. So once you get your subscription or if you already have a subscription, you just go and you sign into your map or into your account. And there's a lot of different options um, as far as layers that you can use and probably for this project, you'll probably use Google Layers the most. And for Google Layers, you need to be signed in and you need to have a pro account. In this case, we're going to use Mackinac Island and we're going to use the break walls because they're pretty good land features. The thing that you need in Caltapo to be available is this map sheet right here. This is what you have to use. And you can see that it's grayed out right now because I haven't saved this map yet there's no place up here to be able to save the map yet so we actually and it says unsaved map so we actually have to mark a point or put something on this map that allows us to do what we need to do so we'll do a map sample by marking just a waypoint just a regular old waypoint we're going to map it on Mackinac Island because that's the paper map that we that we actually have so once that happens you can see over here it says save this map so go ahead and save the map We'll call it sample map. And you have some options on how you can save that, whether you keep it private just to yourself. And I think we'll do that. So we're going to save this. So here we are. Um, we have our map saved. And now if you look at the add layer, you can see that map sheet's available. And finally, the last thing that you'll need is a paper map. Now we've been goofing around with this paper map here, which is all well and good, but we can't actually use this in the paper format. So we have to either find an electronic version of this map or we have to scan the map. Or you can find a map online in PDF format or in a picture format. So let's do uh, the Mackinac Island map uh, ski trails and we'll click here and oh, lo and behold, that is our map. This is perfect so that we can make this map electronic and then see this map on our smartphone. So we found our map in PDF format. Now we just need to geoize that PDF format. So we're gonna go ahead and save the map and our map projects. It's uh, named Mackinac Island Ski Trail Map. It's a good name for it. We're just gonna go ahead and save that for later use. So those are the things you need, the three things. You need the application on your phone, a pro subscription to Cal Tapo, and you need an electronic version of your map, PDF format, JPEG, GIF, things like that. So now we can go through the technical details of making our map readable and displayed on our smartphone. Hop back uh, over to Cal Tapo where we started the process. You can see that we have our map with our little waypoint mark there, which we could take away now if we wanted to. In fact, let's do that. We can just delete the map. 
sample. So this is Mackinac Island and this is Mackinac Island. So what you have to do now is find two specific points on both the paper map that you have and the map that we have here. And we, we have a lot to choose from on Mackinac. We have the airport, for instance, and then we have the airport on Mackinac Island itself. Now, you may have to choose another layer. For instance, if you're in the map layer, you can see that the airport still lines up, but not everything's perfect. For instance, there's no break walls out here. But if we go to the hybrid or satellite version, we can see the break walls on Mackinac Island. So these are piles of rocks that keep away the waves from the bay area where the ferries come in. So you, you might have to mess around a little bit with your layers to get two exact points that you want to line up. Because what we're going to do in this sample, what we're going to do is we're going to line up this geographic point, the end of this break wall or break water. And over here, we're going to end up, we're going to line up this end of the break wall to the break walls that are on the map already. So the nice thing is, is our written map is pretty, or our paper map is pretty accurate and we have these two ends of the break walls to line up because what we're going to do is overlay this map onto this map and use a transparency to get it right. So the way you do that is you go over here to the add new layer. Remember we talked about the map sheet. So we just click on map sheet and then it wants us to choose a file. Now remember we, ch we chose to save this file on our computer on the desktop under map project. So we're going to go ahead and choose that file and we're going to go to the desktop. We're going to go to map projects. And there it is. So there's our map. So we double click on it. And then we can title it. We'll just call it Ski Trails. Mackinac, Mackinac Island. And it's spelled Mackinac, but it's Mackinac. So now it's uploading. And CalTopo says, unable to locate georeferencing information. You will need to align this layer by hand. And we knew that. We knew that that PDF was not georeferenced. And all that means is that, that this paper map is actually has references on it that line up with coordinates on the earth so that the map is you're, you're able to use it on a smartphone or use it with applications that use geo referenced maps and a lot of places are starting to do that but this one doesn't have that so we want to make one ourselves so it says it's unable to locate it and that's fine we're going to go ahead and, and line it up now remember i said that you need now you can see that our our map here is suddenly overlaid on Mackinac Island, but it doesn't fit. I mean, it's way too small. It's just a piece of paper on our on our image here. So if you look down here, we have a map sheet and we have references that we can align for it. So if you look here, it says select your geo reference and then your mark point. So we just click in here to reference number one and we zoom in to whatever land feature we want to use. And remember, we said it's going to be the break walls. And this one's going to be the southwest break wall. And we're going to zoom in and get as accurate as we can in the middle of that hand. And then we're just going to, then you right click and you call that mark point one under geo reference. Everything disappeared. Everything looks funny, but the maps all messed up in a different size. And, and we're going to kind of fix that by clicking here for the second one. And then we're going to right click here, go down to geo reference. And remember we clicked for the paper map, we clicked mark point one, and now we're going to click mark lat long on the, the real map, the map that actually, the, the map from CalTopo. So we click on that and then we look at it and you can see that now everything is like the two ends are lined up. They're, they're absolutely the wrong size, but you'll notice that as we zoom in on the paper map, the end of that break wall, let me bring that open. The end of that break wall is now lined up with the end of the actual break wall at Mackinac Island. So we got one point referenced. Now the other great point that we have is the other break wall way over here, which is going to line up with the break wall right here. So these two need to line up. The way we do that is we zoom in in the middle of the hand. We click on the break wall there. We click on the geo reference and remember the paper map is the mark point. So we mark point number two, because this is point number one, right click, geo reference, mark point two. And don't worry what just happened there. It doesn't matter. Zoom out and find the point on the actual map. 
So we, we marked the point on the paper map. Now we need to do the last one, which is the latitude and longitude of the real map or the accurate map or the, the Cal Tapo map, I should say. So we right click on there. We geo reference. We already marked point two, but now we want to mark lat long number two. So we click on that and look at that. Suddenly that blue outline from the paper map shows up. And as we zoom out, we notice that everything is lined up. Kind of, sort of. You may have to adjust. You may find that uh, one's too far or um, it just isn't looking right. And then, and then you can just click again and you can say, let's, tr let's try the latitude and longitude again. And it changed a little bit. Now let's go back over a little bit to the left. Yeah, let's get that. Uh, and it lines up a little better. We can go down and check here. That looks pretty lined up. So that looks pretty good. Now down here, you can kind of mess around with the opacity and kind of check your work there. You can bring one map in all the way or the other map in all the way. Now at this point, all you have to do is click save. So it renders the map, takes a little bit. It's finishing up and it says layer ski trails, Mackinac Island save to this map. So all you do is click OK. Over on the left, and then it says Ski Trails, Mackinac Island. And if we click on that, it'll pop up. And we just click on it, and it shows up again. And if we do the opacity over here, we can see that, oh, look, that map lines up. So we have a geo-reference map. So now we have this whole thing layered onto the map. Now we have to create a file that we can send over to our smartphone. And the way that we send it over is we simply print it. So we go up to the print menu and you can see it gives you some options. You can export layers, additional information over a paper map, blah, blah, blah. But we want to do the print to PDF or JPEG. And we want to print this to a PDF because we're going to print what's called a georeference PDF. So then this part pops up with this big red symbol and we have all these little options down here. And we're not going to go over all those options, but you can see we got a a scale here, a 1 to 32,732. So you have the option of portrait or landscape, but you can see that it changes when we do landscape. But what, since our map is in portrait mode, basically we're going to keep it that way. Now we can just overlay it like this, and we can go ahead and print. But we probably want this paper map closer to the paper map that uh, we originally had on paper for our smartphone but you can make this as large or as small as you want and it will show up as a file on your on your smartphone and with a little gps dot on it but anyways so we're going to stick with the eight and a half by eleven size on um, the scale we can change here or we can change down here so let's uh change it here to one of twenty four thousand so it looks like it gets closer but it throws it off you just grab this little dot in the middle and you go ahead and reline it back up so you can see that when we print this map for our smartphone, it's going to leave a little blue on the outside. So you can make this as detailed as you want. You do want a geospatial P PDF. You don't want a JPEG image. You want a geospatial PDF, which is the geo-referenced PDF that uh, we've been talking about. So you can do a custom scale. So the one's going to be first, and you just have to pick out how many, how many inches in the ground. Let's try 22,000. So that makes it a little better. And if we kind of move this around, now our print area is just going to have a little blue on these edges. But uh, that looks pretty good. And that's probably the uh, what we want. We've increased the, uh, the, the um, detail a little bit. So now we can go ahead and generate our PDF file. It's going to be a little crooked. And I suppose there might be a way that we can adjust that. But uh, I'm not going to worry about it. So we've got it kind of lined up to the way we want. We're going to have a little blue showing here on the sides when we pull it up on our smartphone. But uh, all we have to do is generate the PDF, and the, it'll take a little bit. Um, it'll pop up as link PDF, and then it'll give you the actual name of the PDF. You can see that that blue shows up on the side. It's a little cut off up here, but that's okay because it's only going to be used in our smartphone. So now what we have to do is go over here and save this PDF. And we'll save it to that same file that we were in, which is Map Projects, and then we'll name it. And you're going to name it so that you can open it up on your smartphone. So whatever you have to name it. In this case, we'll just name it Mac Ski Trails, and then save it. We have our file that we can open on our smartphone. Now we have to transfer this file, this PDF file, over to our smartphone. 
So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and send this to myself in Gmail because I have Gmail available on both of my phones. Just give it a name, whatever, and then you just attach the file. Send it off. And it's going to be available on my smartphones through Gmail. And I just have to open it in the apps. And we'll, we'll go ahead and cover that. So I'm just going to use the iPad for this part of the demonstration. It works pretty much the same for the Android. You may have a, there may be a few differences. Basically, all you do is you go open the Gmail that you sent yourself. You can see that where it says uh, Ski Trails, Mac Ski Trails. And we just click on that and we open that. We upload that to whatever application we want to use it for so we'll just move over and you can see right there is a venza apps that's where we want to open it up we hit a venza apps you can see it's loading it's all loaded up and then we click on it then it shows up so we've uh, saved the file to our phone and we're here on mackinac island and if you look at the uh the map and the ipad you see the little blue dot there that's our location so that's basically how it works. Now we're gonna go take some fatties up to Fort Holmes, which is right there. So there you go, that's all you gotta do.